All right, now I'm going to show you how to crack the earth around them and maybe even look at like it shatters and breaks away. So I'm going to import some another picture. Um, you can go to your computer, THS, assignment pickup, art, video production pickup, VFX, and in this folder, um, I have a picture of cracked earth. Now you should download this to your desktop so you have access to it. And that's where I'm going to import it from um, my desktop here. <clears throat> Crackedearth.jpg. Okay, I'm going to take this picture and just put it right on top of where Superman is. And then in the timeline here, I'm going to just slide it to around the location of where Superman is and just make it as long as the keyframes of where Superman pushes off into the sky. Okay. Now I'm going to put this cracked earth layer underneath um, his picture here and I'm going to toggle open the options here and I'm going to turn off this constrained proportions dealy bob here and I'm gonna just kinda slide it like so and shift it over so it's not covering some of these other guys in the scene here okay now to make it look like it's part of the earth here I'm going to click on toggle switches and modes down at the bottom and where it says normal I'm going to click on that and go to multiply okay now it looks like it's really part of the scene now there's one more step I'm going to create a mask um, and animate that mask open and close okay so I'm going to click up here on this rectangle tool I'm going to go to the ellipse tool and then inside this rectangle I'm going to start at one corner inside the corner click and drag on that corner to the other bottom right corner like that oh and I did that to the wrong footage here so actually I gotta go to cracked earth click on that layer I'm gonna use my elliptical marquee tool go from one corner to the other corner there we go much better okay so now when he pushes off we have that ellipse of cracked earth that appears okay now I'm gonna animate this mask so down in the timeline I'm gonna open up this toggle next to mask so that triangle there I'm gonna increase the mask feather a little bit so that it gives a softer edge to it maybe a little bit more okay so about 60 some pixels pretty good now this mask expansion that's what I really want to work on that's what's going to animate here so as I I'm going to zoom in here and as Superman pushes off here I'm going to just animate it so it opens so I'm going to start with the Mac mask expansion I'm going to click and drag to zero or to negative 339 I'm gonna click the uh, stopwatch there now I'm gonna move forward to when he's in the air and I'm gonna set it to zero so that just as he pushes off it expands and maybe I'm gonna move this down just a little bit there we go okay and so now we have this expanding part this expanding cracked earth part um, as he pushes off now I'm gonna take this uh, background image and I'm gonna do the same thing here um, and I'm gonna duplicate this so I can do control D or I can go up to edit and duplicate and I'm going to just take a small portion of it. So I'm going to click on this layer here. I'm going to turn off the back ones so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. 
And I'm going to just take this section right here. Actually, maybe I'll use this pen tool. This section right here. And now I'm going to use an effect called shatter. So I'm going to type in S-H-A-T-T-E-R. So there's shatter. And right when I drop it on, we get this weird looking thing like this, okay? In the effects, I'm going to change to rendered. Um, under shape, I'm going to use glass. And then the center, the origin, I'm going to have right here where Superman takes off. So I'm going to bring that origin right here. And under force one, I'm going to bring that depth because as it pushes through, oh, and force for one, I'm going to put right on the same place. The position of force one, I'm going to put right in the center there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate the force forward. so that um, the explosion here, the shatter, is going to cause the bricks to kind of fly up into the air. Okay, and so I'm going to start with the depth at negative 0.6. And as he lifts off, I'm going to animate the depth like that. And I'm also going to change the physics here. So I go under, under physics and I'm going to have the physics set to zero. So it's going to just going to blast off like that. I'm going to change a few more things. So under the shape here, I'm going to increase repetitions. So as it shatters, it's going to shatter into a bunch of small pieces. And then I'm also going to turn on toggle switches and modes, the this thing here. So that's the motion blur. So now as I turn everything back on, as I turn on the eyeballs here, okay, we see this happen. I'm going to adjust the order again. So I'm going to put the cracked earth underneath the shattering layer. like this. Okay, so then Superman pushes off, it shatters, and it's over. Now, I'm going to want to make sure that my video clip ends right there before it starts showing weird stuff. So I take the work area bar and I slide it to the end there. And that gives me a pretty good takeoff. Next up, I'm going to put in uh, some dust puffs, some other um, video files that'll kind of make it look more impactful and everything else.